Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we are all aware of the famous VVIP chopper scam of 2014 to supply helicopters to carry the Prime Minister, Vice President and President worth $640 million. The Thailand company involved in the scam was Finn Mechanica which has been rebranded itself as Leonardo in the year 2016. The allegations of corruptions were around the purchase of 12 AW101 helicopters with claims that Rs 360 crore were paid to politicians, bureaucrats and Indian Air Force officials to influence the decision to purchase the helicopter. The allegations were leveled against Augusta Westland, a subsidiary of Leonardo that manufactured the helicopters. Since Saturday, reports are coming up that the ban on the Italian company has been lifted. As per the report of Times of India, the Ministry of Defence has decided to resume business dealings with Leonardo subject to certain conditions imposed on the company. Under the conditions, Leonardo SPA cannot make any commercial claims or file any civil lawsuit against the Indian government for any previous deal. The ban on Leonardo has limited the options before our armed forces for the choice of various weapons like naval guns, missiles, torpedoes and electronic and radars. The famous Automilera gun used in most of the Indian vessels are manufactured by the same company. It has also impacted the purchase of 98 Black Shark heavyweight torpedoes for Scorpion class submarines. However, the brighter side of this is that BHEL is able to manufacture 76mm naval gun and DRDU has already developed heavyweight torpedo Varunastra. The lift of ban on Leonardo has started a very interesting discussion regarding which we will be discussing but before that let's quickly look into the technical specifications of this chopper. The AW101 platform is a medium lift helicopter featuring sophisticated avionics and mission systems coupled with long range and endurance. Extensive redundancy in structures, avionics and critical systems combined with 3 engine configuration and proven 30 minute run dry transmission capability ensures the highest standards of safety. It is powered by 3 General Electric CT7 8E engines. An advanced defensive aids suit ballistic protection and weapons ensures survivability in high threat environments. The large sliding door and rear ramp ensures rapid personal ingress and egress and equipment loading or unloading. It has an impressive crew capacity of 25 plus passengers apart from 2-3 to three crew members. The chopper has maximum endurance of 6 hours 50 minutes with maximum range of 1500 kilometers. We are talking about this chopper because there are 3 unused AW101 chopper parked in Indian Air Force hangar in New Delhi which were added to Indian Air Force fleet between December 2012 and January 2013, but none of them were ever used for flying. The Indian Air Force currently flies VVIPs like the President, Prime Minister and Vice President in modified Russian origin Mi-17 helicopters. These three helicopters are worth Rs 900 crore. Now the biggest question lingering is what to do with these three expensive medium lift helicopters. There is one discussion happening to use these for designing the base variant of IMRH which sounds very promising but then we have to also understand that the design of IMRH for Army and Air Force has been frozen. But the design for Navy is still open and expected to be frozen by 2023 for which these choppers can definitely prove to be useful. At the same time these helicopters can be made operational with the help of Leonardo and can be operated from the deck of INS Vikrant which has hit the blue waters for its second sea trial. With all weather capability, the AW101 is designed to operate form ships in extreme weather conditions. It can perform anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare and airborne early warning system. It is fully integrated. It has fully integrated mission system with powerful 360 degree radar optional FLIR for passive identification of contacts, electronic warfare suite, weapon station for two long-range anti-ship missiles. It features tactical 
टू डिटालिंग फुली इंटीग्रेटेड एंटी सबमरीन वो मिशन सिस्टम एंड डीपिंग सोनार्स एंड सोनू बॉयज इट कैन ऑल्सो कैरी फोर टॉपीडोज और डेफ्थ चार्जेस एट प्रजेंट इट इज नॉट क्लियर हाउ इंडियन आर्म फोर्सेज हैज डिसाइडेड to use these 3 AW101 choppers already delivered however lifting the ban on leonardo has opened the scope for operationalizing them this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.